Right, so a uh, bit of a weird one this, but it is a video handover of Adria Twin 600 SP, uh, registration PX07EGE. Uh, so I'll go around the outside first, uh, most stuff you'll know, uh, but I'll cover anything that might be new. Um, so first working down the driver's side, uh, you've got your cab as you would expect as we come back. Uh, water filler here, essentially this is uh, it's a locked cap, um, there are keys which are there, uh, two of those with the van and um, basically your fresh water goes in there, it just takes a normal hose so nothing special, put that back on and lock that back up. Moving further back uh, we've got the cassette toilet, so how this works is the yellow handle there lifts and that allows you to pull the cassette out. Uh, this part here turns and unscrews and um, that releases the waste into whatever you're emptying it into. If you ever can't pull this out it could well be that you've not closed the flap inside but I'll cover that when we come to the inside part. Uh, this is empty at the moment, uh, you will normally keep blue fluid in there and the toilet flushes with clear. Uh, fresh water. Uh, so coming a little further back, uh, this is the uh, exhaust for the heater. So you don't really need to do anything with that, it's just there. And this is the filler for gas low. Uh, so that comes off like that. And uh, what happens is it's a bayonet fitting I believe, uh, so it's standard for the UK. Uh, you put your handle in there and twist it half a turn and then pull it back. Uh, there are instructions on most of the pumps anyway. Uh, if you do go abroad, uh, France, Spain, you will need little brass adapters, but they're easy to get hold of. Uh, coming around the back, I'll do the gas while I've got the back doors open. Uh, so these three catches down this side. I release that door and there is your gas low. So these are linked tanks. As you can see, they are full. Um, they're currently off and they need to be off to fill. Um, but I'll switch these on later and show you how they work. Uh, all of this in the top is just to allow it to refill uh, and also to allow it to run through two bottles and automatically switch. So, uh, coming around the other side, uh, we've got your electric hookup point. Uh, so I've got a hookup lead here, this will be in the vehicle. Uh, basically you just lift that and open that and that slides into there as so. Um, this little blue switch here is to allow it to release. Don't just try and pull it out, you push that down and give it a pull and that releases that. Uh, also working down this side there are two vents for the fridge and the uh, waste release handle which is just a case of grab it and uh, twist. Um, and there you go, you can see there's a little bit of waste in from when I've been testing it. I'll switch that back. Uh, these do have winter covers, they will be in the van. Um, I've taken those off to show them working. Uh, also under there is your electric step. Again, I'll cover that when we get to the van. Uh, fuel filler is just here on the passenger side. This works from the ignition key. Um, do not try and use the habitation key because it won't open. Uh, that's pretty much it for the exterior. Uh, so I'm in the driver's seat. And uh, just a quick, a quick go over the cab. Um, so just so you can see the dashboard. I know it looks a bit Christmas tree, but um, they're not flashing in real life. Um, so there's that. And starting straight away, um, I've got the sliding door open, so that's that one. You just let the lights are on, so I'll switch those off, and that's that one gone out. Um, and the other one is just seatbelt and handbrake, obviously. Uh, just so you can hear it so no weird noises or anything. Uh, while I'm in here, I'll switch that off. Um, there's your stereo, uh, it is Pioneer, it does have built-in hands-free. Um, I'm sure the manual's there, if not, it may be a case of Googling it just to get that to work because I have no, I, no idea how that works. Um, the main cab functions, so here's your heat controls, um, that's your air conditioning button, obviously this selects where it's going. Uh, whether it's recirculating air or bringing fresh in. 
uh, temperature and the internal one is just the fan speed. Uh, if you press that and it doesn't light up orange it's because you've not selected a fan speed. Um, steering wheel is pretty much as you would expect, uh, indicators one side, wipers the other, lights are on the end of the indicator stalk and behind the indicator stalk we have cruise control. Uh, other than that you've got your six speed manual, uh, storage is in there, uh, there's your Fiat book pack and also your two remotes, the Sky one and the one for the television and uh, there's your um, uh, glove box. Uh, also in the front we have um, magnetic lines on the front windscreen so these just pull across and magnetise in the middle to join. Uh, it means you're just not carrying heavy silver screens around. Uh, there are curtains for the side windows but they're curtains so I won't show you how they work. I'm sure you've had some before. Short one on the control panel, it's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, so on this side we have the little green illuminated light with the plug above. Uh, that basically means we're currently hooked up. Um, moving across uh, we have the indicator for battery levels. Uh, again, pretty self-explanatory. The bottom one with the battery at the back is the habitation battery and the one at the top is the vehicle battery, so the engine battery. Uh, moving across a little more, uh, this is the main switch. Uh, so if I press that, the green light comes on and everything is on. Um, lights, everything, that kills everything. Um, next one across, uh, this is the water levels. Um, so if I press up, that is fresh water. Uh, there's currently no fresh water in here. Um, I'll press down, so that's just the bottom of the waste tank uh, from when I tested the hot water the other day and I've not emptied it. Next one across is the water pump. Um, so only have this on if you've got uh, fresh water in here uh, because the liquid does cool the pump and it will burn out without. And when that's switched on, you'll get that little illuminated light there. Uh, you can hear the pump in the background and it will, if you've just filled it up, it will fill all the pipe work so you will hear it for a little while before it starts coming out of the taps. Uh, what you need to do at that point is run the cold water through first on all the taps. Um, so it will splutter a little to start with and then switch to the hot, that will run through the boiler and then to the taps and again that will splutter a little to start with.